Let's have a quick talk about some things you should never do to your PC. Welcome back to the channel and I'm glad you're here because we have some important things to talk about that's gonna help you protect your PC. One of the most important things you can do is something that's not super obvious, but could cause serious damage to your computer. That important thing is to never use power supply cables that did not come with your power supply. What exactly does this mean? Well, it means that the power supply cable will have a different pinout, and that means it's gonna send electricity incorrectly to your components and cause a catastrophic failure of any component that is plugged into it. Feeding the power incorrectly to the components may even end up destroying the power supply itself. Now, if you do go with custom power supply cables, as this is a thing in the PC building world, make sure that you're providing the correct information about your power supply to the custom cable creator so that they're able to pin out the connectors correctly. If you're buying pre-made custom cables, like from Cable Mod, then you can check what power supplies that specific kit supports and ensure that your power supply is listed. If it's not listed specifically, reach out to Cable Mod or the other custom cable manufacturer and ensure that the kit you're looking at is in fact compatible with your power supply. If you do those things when you're purchasing or having custom cables created, you'll avoid all of the potential damage that could occur by using incorrect power supply cables. While we're on the topic of power, let's move on to the second thing that you should never do. The second thing is to never plug your PC directly into an outlet. You might be thinking, but wait, how do I get power? How you're gonna get power to your PC is through a surge protector or an uninterruptible power supply. This simple choice could save you thousands of dollars in potential damages if a power surge ever runs through your home. These power surges are fatally dangerous for PCs. A simple thunderstorm could cause a dangerous spike in electricity racing towards your home and out of your outlets. This surge will push your power supply well past the 120 volt operating limit that it's designed to be used at and cause major damage to your system. Having the bare minimum of a surge protector will give you the peace of mind that your expensive custom PC is protected. And you can take that protection a step further with an uninterruptible power supply. An uninterruptible power supply will protect your system from any type of power problem, whether it's gonna be a surge, dirty power, a brownout, and even blackouts. And that leads us into the third thing you should never do to your PC. Never turn your computer off by holding the power button down, switching the power supply off, or unplugging it from power. Now this point only applies if you have an operating system installed. If you don't have an operating system installed, there's really no other way to shut your system down. Now this point only applies if you have an operating system installed as you could potentially corrupt your entire operating system if you do shut your system down this way. If the OS is in the middle of modifying or writing system files and you shut the PC down without shutting the OS down first, you will corrupt those files and it will become unreadable. And those files are potentially extremely important to the operation of the operating system itself and will cause your PC to not boot anymore. You may be able to repair your operating system using Windows repair, but I personally have never had any luck with that tool. So you would most likely end up having to wipe your whole OS and reinstall the operating system. And you would lose all your data that sits on the OS drive, which is why I always advocate to put your OS on a separate drive. That's another video entirely. Back to the previous point, having an uninterruptible power supply will prevent your PC from shutting down when a blackout occurs thus preventing this problem from occurring and your OS potentially becoming corrupt if you do have a blackout. While this problem is rare, it can happen and it's just good practice to shut your computer down from the operating system. The only time it's okay to turn your PC off in one of the three ways that I mentioned is if your system has already become unresponsive and it's impossible to shut it down through the operating system. While technically a peripheral, your monitor is an important and expensive part of your system. And with that being said, you're probably going to want to keep it nice and clean. And you might think that using cleaner to do that is going to be a good idea. And that leads us to the fourth thing you should never do, which is never use cleaner on your monitor's screen. 
The only thing that should ever touch your monitor's screen is a dry or very slightly damp microfiber cloth. Cleaners will cause etching or scarring on the actual screen of your monitor, and it will also ruin the glossy or matte finish that it came with. And if that happens, the clarity of your monitor is ruined. While there are some cleaners out there that claim to be safe to use, your best bet is to just stick with the good old microfiber cloth that's either dry or very slightly damp. This will just prevent any mishaps from happening and your monitor will last you a long time. And finally, the last thing you should never do to your PC is give it secondhand smoke or vape. Smoke and vapor will get pulled into your PC through the intake fans, will cause a bunch of nasty residue to start building up all over your components. Not only does this look really bad on your PC, it's also going to cause a loss of performance through decreased thermal transferability of the components in your PC. Not to mention, vape clouds are water vapor, and we all know what water does to electronics. So just like secondhand smoke and vaping vapor are dangerous for humans, they're also dangerous for your PC. Now that you know some of the major things you should never do to your PC, go on and enjoy the awesome machine that you've just built or bought with the peace of mind that you're doing your best to take care of it. If you thought these tips were helpful, you can click here to check out more Tectonic Systems videos. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.